about to get started here and on the hill in this one Adam Aller and singing a special day for him he's making his major league debut here and I'm sure he's got some nerves he'll be excited for that first pitch to be in and over with so that he can settle in to pitching just like he did in the minor leagues exciting moment he's got his family in town I think this moment's going to be a huge tone setter for his career and here it comes Kevin Kiermeyer in the box here lets that one go for a ball. At the belt and fires. Pitches in there. One ball, one strike. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Next offering way off the plate. Way inside, gets out of the way. Righty to the plate. The punch out there, and one gone. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting the ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. One out, base is empty. He swings and fouls one off. And the pitch. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. one just oh. off the inside edge two outs in the air to left center Sanchez right there to make the grab and that is that we head to the bottom of the first no score after a half inning back here in Miami and on the hill for the Dodgers Walker Bueller well this guy's just been filthy out there on the mound hitters batting under 200 against him and they're just having a hard time squaring up anything doing any type of damage the only way he hurts himself is if he gives up the free passes and surrenders a rare home run but outside of that it's gonna be a tough job for the opposing lineup today Xavier Edwards gets a chance to hit here trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues the shortstop takes the ball Swing and that ball smashed on a line. And a superb diving catch. Year in, year out. Mookie Betts has got a chance to win a gold glove, even a platinum glove. Just another great diving catch right there. Connor Norby, the next up for the Marlins. 
looking for his first big league hit right here. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Bueller. He isn't really known as the starting pitcher that's going to get you deep into the start. It's not that he's not capable. He just hasn't proven that he can do it yet. Foul ball. He's got such great stuff. You just don't know from start to start whether it's a potential no-hitter or it's a guy that's only going to give you three or four innings. And he takes out. it himself for the out. That and time good. now for the Marlins lineup. Not a whole lot going their way offensively the last few games, Chris. Yeah, but again, that can put more pressure on the pitching staff to try to limit the opponent to just one or two runs a game, knowing that their offense is not scoring right now. And that never really works well because you try to be too fine and you end up giving up a lot of runs. So we'll see if everybody can just relax, bring things together, and perform at a level that they're capable of. But for the most part, with that kind of stuff, you expect him to get to the middle of the ball game. Here's your one. One ball. delivers outside. What does he need to do in order to get deeper into the game? Well, I'd say it's command of the secondary pitches because when you're talking about turning over the order a second and third time and hitters are getting looks, you've got to be able to put a wrinkle on something, change speeds, and locate it enough so that they offer at it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. Miami down in order. Scoreless after one. here at Lone Depot Park. And now here is Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman delivered a master class in 2023. Freeman and Betts fed off of each other's success and it helped Freeman produce a 977 OPS, 29 home runs, and more than 100 RBIs. That's a great season. That's a ball. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. And that one clips the corner. One ball, one well, it strike. looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. The pitch. Swing and Freeman blasts one to right. And that one is off the wall. The throw into second. And he's got a double. Freddie Freeman with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming Boog you still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here Batter now will be Will Smith. That one's in there on one. The pitch. Outside low. One and one. Matthew Ross umpiring behind home plate for us in this one. He's got a reputation for having a bit of a wide strike zone, Chris. Yeah, no doubt, Boog. He rewards pitchers when they're working the edges and sometimes a little bit beyond that. So for the hitters, just have to really be aware. Don't miss your pitch when you get it early in the count. Gathers and throws to first. One out in the second. Puts the tag on him and it's a double play. And here comes Tommy Edmond. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. That misses, and it's one to know. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and 
you know, close holes that, oh. you know, are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. The pitch. And he hits a ground ball right side. Third out. Oh. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the second. Lydia now here's the cleanup the hitter for Miami. No Jesus here. Sanchez. Hey, Boogan, the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump. And defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle. You can lose your mechanics. But the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way. And this is what this guy does. Edmund brings it in. One down. Not it. The first base. And now for the Marlins, Jonah Bryan. finds the zone on one looks like he's just sizing him up there really good pitch to hit but he took it all the way sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game that may be a pitch that he turns on drifts towards it calls it in and there's two away that is good. the second base stepping in Otto Lopez That one fouled off. Swing and a miss. Oh, a two now. This guy's oh, pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. And he grounds one to the right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Otto Lopez with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And now here's the Marlins DH, Nick Fortes. That one is upstairs. Oh. Outside. And yeah, that's ball two. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. He decides to eat it, and they don't get the out. Nick Cortez with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen, and when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming. Dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but... It's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you worked to get here. Here's Christian Pache. In the air, right field. Bet settles underneath it. Makes the catch in and over. So they strand a pair. We head on now to the top of the third. No score. Top half of the third inning, Miguel Rojas at the plate. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. The 
right down to shoot, and it's not even two. Yeah, his swing is so good, it's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Singy, one of the things that's interesting is that guys really don't worry about swing and miss from an offensive standpoint anymore. So when you see somebody who contacts the ball like this, do you think of that as plus value? Absolutely. If he's doing damage now, if he's rolling over and, and grounding out, then it's a different story. But yeah, if he can put the ball in the gaps or over the fence, 100%. Here's Muncie to hit. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. That is not Max Muncy with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but... It's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Here's Kike Hernandez. Runner on the goal. Yeah, a foul ball. Pitches outside. One and two. Muncie, the runner at first, with one gone in the inning. Yeah, the one two oh, misses to even the count. It's a good take. Here Check swing on the two two. A field of first. And he couldn't hold back. He's run up on strikes. Now that, that. Here's Kiermeyer now. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat. Get that first hit at the big league level. Sliced hard, but foul. Kiermaier hitting leadoff in today's game, and they traded for him earlier this year. Pitch misses, and it's one and one. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. We're here in the top half of inning number three. The 2-2 two -two now. Chop back up the middle. Lopez. They take the force out, and that is that. So the Dodgers leave one. And we're still knotted at zero. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here's the rookie catcher, Johnny Pareda. The why to kick the pitch. And that's a fair ball. The bat, that's your stop. Johnny Pareda with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, 
can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Back to the top of the Miami order. Now it's the Marlins' leadoff hitter, Xavier Edwards. He's 0 for 1. And there's the strike. The pitch. Tried to check his swing. Appeal to third. No swing. Just held it back there. Kicks and fires. On the ground, two ball. Hernandez. Off balance Who's beat. Up? There's one. The third base is number 24. Connor Norby. Now the third baseman, Connor Norby. Grounded out his first time up. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Yeah, there's the strike. They might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. And the righty deals. On the ground, right side. Into the outfield, base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. Not in time, he's safe. Connor Norton with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen, and when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. One away, runners at first and third. And up next for Miami, Jake Berger. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Not even close there. Ball one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Runners at the corners, one away. Here in the last half of the third. Swings through that one for strike one. one ball, Knowing one that strike. the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. Kicks and deals. And fouled off. bit high ball two well clearly not too happy with the call there body caught the top of the zone and you could pretty much read his lips saying that's not up runners are at the corners one away got him <laughs> huge strike out there oh that was such a great opportunity to grab the lead you have the infield no back right all you've got to do is just put the ball in play on the ground and you drive across a run it's a frustrating outcome for the hitter now I'll still have a chance but it's probably going to take a clutch hit with two outs and the batter now Jesus Sanchez swings and pulls a foul to the right side Edwards on third Norby at first two out of the inning This is the zone. One and two to count. Two on, two outs. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. His eyes got big. He saw that change up way out in front. Better to pull it than to get jammed on something off speed like that. Oh, and he hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. So two down, and now the first baseman, Jonah Bride, over one so far. Oh. 
check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. No ball. One strike. Base is loaded. Two down. Turned on, but foul wide of third. The pitch. Very high with that one. And the count one and two. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. Still tied at zero. Last of the third. Hey. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. And we're back. Start of the fourth. And now the right fielder, Mookie Betts. Aller back to work. You know, Boog, Mookie Betts may have not been named MVP in 2023, but that doesn't take away from his impressive season. The Dodgers star hit nearly 40 home runs and drove in more than 100. Ronald Acuna Jr. deserved to win, but it was another phenomenal season in Mookie's career. And oh. now one and two. Another ball. Two and two. Two and that four. one not close. Ball three. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's wrong. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Payoff pitch. That one oh, misses. So a leadoff walk. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Fly to left his first time. That's inside. Righty delivers. Mookie on the move. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Great jump. And that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there to get into scoring position with the heart of the order at the plate. That might just lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base. But it's early in this ballgame. Can't imagine it'll change the attack plan too much. Man at second. Good eye right there. Two and one. Just missed. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. And the right hander deals. And there's ball four. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with a free pass. Go ahead, run on base. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Doubled in his first A.B. And that one oh. a little below the knees. Ball one. Oh. And a good eye there. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Two and all the count. Here it comes. Ground ball left side could be two. No, toss 
Bryce to second. Relay to first double play. As a former player, watching 5 4 3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. And up to the plate is Will Smith. He hit into a double play his first time up. Swing and a high fly ball, deep left field. Way back there. Out of here. He powers that one out of here. And they add a pair. It's 2-0. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spot. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient and waited for it. It was like BP all over again. So two down. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Tommy Edmond. Grounded out his first time. No. That misses. And that is ball one. Two down, nobody on. That's a ball. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. And a pitch. This one in the air center field. Pache gets under it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Two-run shot for the Dodgers this inning. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. And welcome back to the leading ballpark. The John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Otto Lopez. Lopez. The right-hander back to work. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. And he'll one. On its way to the corner. Hernandez calls it in, and there's one away. The designated hitter, number four. Nick Fortes will hit next. Reached on an infield single his first time. Just missed. One and That's a strike across the top of the zone. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Oh. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. One down, base is empty. Got him! Outside pitch got the better of him that time. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, now slider that, down and away from the same side right throw there. as the hitter. I mean, it's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. And at the plate for Miami, Christian Pache. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball. one. No strike. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. That one at the knees for a strike. One, ball, one strike. And it's fouled away. A wind of the pitch. Two 
ball. Two straight. That one misses. Three balls, Three balls. two strikes. Swing and he breaks his back. There's Hernandez handling the chance. In plenty of time to first. And that is that. Nothing doing for the Marlins. They trail things here. 2-0. here in Miami all set for the start of the inning and at the plate for the Dodgers Miguel Rojas and the right hander back to work line drive and he pulls up on it and that's a hit Miguel Rojas with his first major league hit and this is nah. a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Max Muncy at the dish. And he's already singled in this game. There's the strike. And a pitch. And that's oh. just foul. Here comes a pitch. Way inside, and that hit him. Well, anytime one of your hitters gets drilled, it catches everyone's attention in the dugout, and you know what? It kind of gets you fired up. Here's Kike Hernandez. His first at bat was a strikeout. Whoa, Just okay. missed. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Jeff Lindgren up and loosening in the pen. Bauman also throwing. At the belt and fires. Oh, oh he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. The Dodgers trying to break this one open. And we're at the top of the fifth. Inside just missed. Oh, I would expect in this 3 0 count, you're taking all the way. See if he'll walk you. Here's a 3 0. And yeah, there's the automatic. Him. And a pitch. And they're all loaded up. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Here's Kevin Kiermaier. Golden opportunity right here. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Well, this is a tough situation with the bases loaded, but the healthiest mindset is just try to get out one hitter at a time. The 0-1. Hard hit. Could be extra bases. One runs in. Another comes in to score. Coming home. Relay throw. The tag. And he's out. Kevin Kiermaier with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but... It's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. New 
now. Pitcher for the Marlins, number 59. On for his major league debut. So we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands and it's a bigger stadium. But the game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher. Whatever fingers he puts down, that's what you throw. And just let him lead you in this one. Headed down the line. And no one could get to it. It's a foul ball. Kiermaier leads off second with one gone in the inning. Pitch misses inside. And one and one. There's a strike to Mookie. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Around third. He'll score. And the lead is up to five. So he gets two milestones with that hit. His first big league knock. And he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. The first base Teoscar is Hernandez five. with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but... It's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. One for two. That's off the mark, and that's ball one. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Next offering in there for a strike. And now it's even one and one. And that's outside. One out. Runners at first and second. Swung on. Popped up on the infield. And the infield fly is called. Now, Will Smith. And next for L.A., Will Smith. He's already homered in this game. That clips the corner. in the dirt first and second two down and now the lefty backed That's off the plate that time Two outs. Rip to third. They get the He's force. Out. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Three runs, four hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Dodgers five and the Marlins nothing. Back here at Lone Depot Park, Park. The bottom Marlins. of the inning. Now it's the, the catcher. Marlins catcher, Johnny Pareda. Oh, 
And he deals. Fastball in for a strike. It's 0-1. No you know, these Marlins, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating oh, moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Good eye in oh, that spot. That's Struck three. him out looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Xavier Edwards, now, yeah. the next up for the That's Marlins. Chris, his skill set straight out of the mid 80s. Good contact, not much power, and he could run. He always uses the wheels to his advantage. His biggest challenge in this day and age is to not get caught up in trying to hit home runs because so many people are. Gets it to first. Oh man for the fifth inning moving along two quick the outs. Base, base, well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Two outs. Base is empty. Here's the third baseman. Connor Norby. Close but called a ball. One and oh. Breaking ball through there for a strike. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. The one two. Out to short. Tosses to first. And it's a one two three inning. And the Marlins down quietly. Still looking at that 5 nothing deficit. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the top of the sixth. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Tommy Edmond. The pitch. Edmond, 28 years old. And he was a sixth round draft pick back in 2016 you know these Dodgers showing great discipline at the plate and patience definitely Ooh. seems to be the name of their game in this one the numbers say their chase rate or swings at pitches outside the zone is under 25 percent and I think it's a big reason why they're scoring runs that one just misses by not chasing out of the zone they're getting good pitches to hit when you can do that you have a much better chance to square up the baseball and do damage like they have so far and yeah, they'll do it again Lace down the line. Could be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And his first big league hit is a double. Tommy Edmund with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but... It's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And now the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. Whoa. And that one upstairs. Edmund at second with nobody out. That oh, one drifts inside. Two balls, no strike. Three inside, out. almost got him. Three oh down. And ball oh, four to a board. You get a walk, and you get a walk. Everyone gets nah, a walk, nah, Boog. And now it's Max nah, Muncy. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. First and second, no outs. And we're the top half of the sixth. 
Oh, oh that one almost gets him again. Well, knowing that his hitter's got holes in his swing, because he's got so much power, pitcher still can get a little too tight, afraid to make a mistake. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. The pitch. And it's even up. Here it comes. And now the count is full. And another power hitter lurking in the on deck circle. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And that'll load the bases. Well, he earned his trip to first right there. It's not no, easy no, no. laying off pitches that it's just missed the zone like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a real discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. Hernandez <laughs> swings through it for strike Come one. On. One strike. Just no. missed. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. That big swing and a miss. One ball. Two straight. There's one. Got him. And a run yeah. scores on the double play. It's always great when you can add a run, but in this situation with the bases loaded, double play is kind of a rally killer. Back to the top of the lineup, and next is the designated hitter, Kevin Kiermeyer. And there's a ball. Two outs with a runner at third. Right through there for a strike. That's and ball. another ball. Two outs. Three balls, one strike. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. That's too high, and it's ball four. Another walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. So two on with two away. And up next for Los Angeles, Mookie Betts. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. Oh. Just missed. That one lifted to left. Sanchez gets under it. And that is that. One run in the inning, but they leave two. Part of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Dodgers 6 and the Marlins nothing. And we're back, Lady bottom Lady of the Lady sixth Lady inning. Lady. And now for the Marlins, Jake Berger. This kid picked up in a Berger. trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. That's in there, and that's strike one. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. That one, one misses, one and it's a ball to strike. Right-hander kicks deals. Ah, that yeah, hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Well, he went after him right there with one of his best pitches. I'm really surprised that one got away from him. So, man aboard. Here's the left fielder, Jesus Sanchez. 
And that is cut on and missed. Oh, and one. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Jesus Sanchez with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming Boog you still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here Jonah Bride, the next up for the Marlins. There's a strike. No ball. One strike. The Dodgers up big in this one here in the bottom of the sixth. Next Aye. offering is in for a strike. One there. One and two. Two and two. In the dirt, blocked. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Three. Struck him out Ooh. looking. That right there will drive you crazy as a hitter. That pitch has no business being it's called a strike. Three. It's definitely not what the pitcher was trying to do with the curveball in any count, let alone a two-strike count. So the umpire right there, he's just rewarding a bad pitch. Two on with one out. Otto Lopez, the next up for the Marlins. Pitch misses there. Ball one. Berger on second. Sanchez at first. One gone. Oh, and that's off the inside edge. And it's 2-0. Oh. And that one fouled off. That misses three and one now. Swings through that one for strike two. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Picks up strikeout number seven. Really nice execution of the cut fastball right there. Similar to how you might throw a two-strike slider, start it middle away, and let it break and take over that outside corner of the plate. But sometimes with a cutter, you just don't know how much it'll move. I think he's good, but I think he was also a little lucky right there. Fortes in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. In the dirt, but kept close. Well done behind the dish. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. The other way. A base hit around third. Now a long throw home. The tag, and he's in there. It's a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ball game. First and second, two down. Here's the center fielder, Christian Pache. Clips the corner, and that is strike one. Right. 
two on two outs pop foul out of play off to the right. The 0 2 fights it off you'll see another two outs couple of base runners at first and second. And a good eye there. Oh. That's outside. And it's two and two. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Coming home. One run is in. Relay throw home. And he's out. Cut down and that ends the inning. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Dodgers six and the Marlins two. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Jeff Lindgren. Yeah, this is the best way to make your major league debut. No one on base. Yeah, you're already going to be a little nervous out there, so I think it's a nice job by the skipper to get him in here without any added pressure with traffic on the bases. Now the left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Righty to the plate. In the air, left side. Sanchez gets under it. And it's caught for the out. The first base is number five. And now Freddie Freeman, one for three. Ripped to third and caught. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Smith in the box now. No balls and a strike. Two outs, base is empty. Outside low, and the count is one and one. The pitch. Foul ball there. And a pop up, right side, foul territory. Bryant settles under it and makes the catch. And that'll do it. So they make short work of them there. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Dodgers six and the Marlins two. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Alex Vesia on for his major league debut in a moment he will never forget you better believe that it's always so special the first time you get into a big league ball game I did it as a position player but for him as a pitcher I'm sure there's some nerves there probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight just relax and do what you're capable of doing as the lefty gets to work and right back to the mound Tosses to first and one away in the bottom of the seventh. Really nice job to get now your out first out of the ball game. Xavier. So the batting Xavier. order turns over. Now it's the Marlins leadoff hitter, Xavier Edwards. Feels like it's less common today that you see a guy like this. The speed component, the contact component, but lack of power. There's a strike. I think baseball's starting to understand that those guys are valuable like they once were. They need him in this game today. Right side. There's Hernandez handling the chance. Two up, two down. The batter. The third baseman. Connor Norby. And up next for Miami, Connor Norby.
Swing it a foul straight back. Two down, nobody on. One Pitch ball, misses. One and the count even one and one. And that one wrapped foul. The fish down by four here at the bottom of the seven. Two outs. Started after it. Appeal to first. And he won around. Not an easy call there, but that puts an end to the inning. And one, two, three go the Marlins. They still trail it here. It's six to two. Back here in Miami. And now the center fielder, Tommy Edmond. Tommy Edmond. Lindgren back to work no, just off the outside edge and that's ball one a swing and a miss and that's strike one and he really sells the changeup with that arm action high in the air out to right Berger has a beat on it and there's one down Here's the shortstop at the play. Miguel Rojas. First pitch misses. That one missed. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. Base is empty one away. And we're in the top of the eighth. Here we go. Right through there for a strike. Ground ball up the middle. Nice grab. Fires to first on the run. Yep. And He's very out. nicely done for the out. Here comes Max Muncy. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Enrique Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And that's a strike. Runner at second, two down. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. He's clearly out there throwing pitchers' pitches in this situation. First base is open. He walks him. No big deal. Pitch misses. Now one and two. Swinging. So no runs here in a base hit. No errors and one left. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Dodgers six and the Marlins two. Bottom of the eighth. We and here is Jake Berger. The, right the, right the Marlins in striking distance but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. 
the pitch. Fought off foul. And now it's even up. Just missed. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Betts makes the grab, and there's one down. Now batting. No left. Now left. at the plate, Jesus Sanchez. Sanchez. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch. One and ball. that one missing one low. Swing and a miss as he was out front. One the ball. Dodgers one leading by four. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Kicks and deals. Bows it back with two strikes. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone no, right no, there. No. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Right. The, the next to hit takes ball one. Swing and a pop up foul out of play off to the right side that'll find the stands. with a changeup, two and one. One straight. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. And that's Thank ball you, four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't know about right. it. Yeah. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Oh. Runner at first with two away. Otto Lopez, the next up for the Marlins. Right through there for a strike. On the ground to the left. Oh, and it hits the base. Fair ball. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Evan Phillips gets the ball now. This is his first appearance of the season. So now here's the DH. Nick Fortes. Fouled off. He was late. Two on, two outs. Way out front for strike two. Activity in the bullpen. Daniel Hudson looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Gerber also getting ready. Two outs on the ground to third. Slings it across, and that ends the inning.
New inning getting started. Now it's the DH, Kevin Kiermeyer. The pitch. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Makes the catch, and there's one down. Now back. The right field. Here's Mookie Betts. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. That's strike one to Mookie Betts. Foul ball. One down, base is empty. One Pitch in the dirt. Now one and two. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Gets the out, out. two down after the strikeout. Well, obviously, that was nowhere near the strike zone. By the time it got to the plate, people at home watching are thinking, what's he swinging at? But I'll tell you, some of the break guys snap off these days is just devastating. It can be so tough to recognize where a pitch like that's going to end up. Hernandez stands in here, takes ball one low. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top of the ninth. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. And that's a foul ball. Righty delivers. Ripped on a line to center. And Hernandez is out. And that is that. Offense held a check there. 8-9-1 due up in the bottom of inning number nine. It's the Dodgers six and the Marlins two. Back here at Lone Depot Park. Bottom nine. And at the play for Miami, Christian Pache. And a pitch. And Whoa, a curve misses outside. And another ball. Two oh. Just missed. Reno. And a four you, pitch man. walk. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there. The last one wasn't even close. Man at first. Johnny Pareda getting ready to hit. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. The 1-0. -oh. And a foul ball. Pache aboard here at first with nobody out. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Balls it in, and there's one away. Now batting, shortstop. Xavier Edwards, the next up for the Marlins. In the air, left field. And that will drop foul. Man, just a matter of inches right there. If that stays fair, it's at least a double. Swing and a miss. Oh, two. 
The fish down by four here in the last half of inning number nine. And a curve is down and in. That's Swing right. and a miss. And they're down to their last out. And now for the Marlins, the Connor North. Pitch gets the corner. Going long. Two outs. Outside low. One and one. Comes up empty. That's strike two. This could end it. Got it. And the crowd goes on disappointed as this one draws to a close. Bueller with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should. A start he won't ever forget. And your final, 6-2. to two. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. We'll see you soon.